Hi everyone, this is Gina Kraft, one of the district technology coaches at Mattoon. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of Google Drive and just let you get a little bit familiar with some of those different features. One of the really great things is this thing that we call the waffle. It's up here in the top right hand corner of your screen. The waffle shows you all of the different applications that are going to be associated with your account. So we can see all of these different things that come with your Google Suite or your G Suite. Um, and there are more applications if you scroll down. So you kind of have like an easy access, kind of like shortcuts, to these different applications within your waffle. Now this is your home screen of your Google Drive and it can sometimes get a little overwhelming when you're creating a lot of different documents. It could get really busy and it won't look very organized. So one of the first things that I like to do is I like to create folders. These folders just help me stay organized and make sure I'm putting things where I think that they belong. There are two ways of creating your folders. You can right click and this um, menu will pop up and you can click new folder or you can go to this new button and click folder. You always have to title it something so I'm just going to type this test. That's going to be my test folder. Now you can see that this folder and this folder look a little bit different. This district technology coaching folder, it has a little person here. That means I've shared it with somebody else. So somebody else has access to everything in that folder. You may have folders where you want to keep just to yourself, and you may have folders that you might want to share with other people because they might be collaborating with you a lot or working on similar things with you. So in order to add somebody to be able to access your folder, this little button up here with person with a plus sign, you just hit that, that's going to share it. You type in the email address of anybody that is in your contacts, um, and then you will just click done. That will immediately share that folder with that person, so they will have equal access to your folder and all of the documents within it. Similarly, on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to have documents that are shared with you. And so the Shared With Me tab are documents that somebody else has created that they've shared with you because they think that you should access them or you can work on them or might be some good information for you. So this is a, um, immediately where those things are going to go. Now, most likely, these are also going to be things that you want to have on your drive because you may be accessing them frequently. So the easiest way to do this is just to click and drag. I'm going to click on this document that was shared with me, and I'm just going to drag it over to my drive. When I hover it over there, you can see that all of my folders pop up, which is really nice. I can drag it directly into the folder that I think is going to need to be in or I can just plop it right into my drive, which is where I'm going to put that. So if I go back to my drive and I scroll down, I can see that, there it is, there's my document that I just drug it, that was um, shared with me earlier. Uh, any of my documents that I've been accessing recently are going to kind of pop up in this recent tab, which is nice because they're probably things I'm using frequently, so I can easily access them there. I can also go to my starred um, menu, and these are documents that I think are really important that I am going to be on all the time, so I want to put them in an easily accessible place so that I'm not clicking and going through lots of different folders to access them. So these are all things that I've already starred. Now if I want to go and I want to star something else, I think, you know what, I'm probably going to use this a lot. We'll just go back to this agenda. I just right click on that agenda, and I add to starred. And I can see that it says that that was starred. So if I go back to my starred menu, I now have that agenda that's going to pop up in my starred selection. So I know that it's something that I can easily access frequently. This trash menu is just documents that you have decided, hey, I don't need these. Um, so you put them in the trash. But they're not deleted forever. If you decide that, oh, I think I do need that, all you have to do is just um, right click and restore. That will make it go back to your drive. If you don't want it, you know you're never going to need it, you can also delete it forever and then that won't be taking up any kind of space. I'm going to go back to my drive 
and I'm going to try and upload a file. There are going to be times when I might have a file on my, a USB or on my computer that I'm going to need to put on my drive. So I have two ways of doing this. I again can right click and upload files or I can go to the new button and file upload. I'm going to upload just this Word document that I had used um, whenever I was teaching last year. And this menu says that this has uploaded. So if I scroll down in my drive, I can see that it is right here. Dystopian Society Choice Board. I'm going to double click on that and then because this is a Word document, it's compatible with Google Docs. So I'm going to open it with and I'm going to go to Google Docs. This Word document has now gone into my Google Docs and I can edit it directly in Google Docs like I would any other document that I would create there. So it's really great that it has the functionality to be able to upload um, PowerPoint that can be into slides or Excel that can go into Sheets or Word that can go into Docs because we are going to have documents that we're going to need to upload onto our Google Drive for us to be able to access. There's a super quick overview of Google Drive. We're going to have other videos about the other applications, but this is just kind of to get you familiar with what Google Drive looks like and some of the options and accessibilities that you have with Google Drive.